Opa! Opa! Aparisto! Those are the two Greek words that I just learned in the car on my way here. But as you know, I'm very fond of Hellenic culture and taught Greek history for quite some time on the college level. And March 25th, 1821, there's special significance here in the city of Patterson. It is when Greeks fought and fought vigorously for independence so that 202 years later we can celebrate here in the city of Patterson. And I had the pleasure with my wife to visit Ileila and I saw for myself we saw Santorini, Athens, Crete and within Crete Irakilo, Kenosis, and Hanya. Yeah. But I have to tell you, I have a special place in my heart for Mykonos. And I go to Mykonos every week, believe it or not. The one I root for in Elmwood Park. They have the best saganaki, spanakopita, musaka, and pasticcio I've ever tasted. But this time, I want to call forward Nick Celepis who has spearheaded this effort for some opening Actually, remarks. Nick is oh, one of the Knicks, both oh, Knicks are gonna go. <laughs> Just in the nick of time. So thank you all very much for coming. And uh, it's very true, you know, this is one mayor that we do not have to chase down for Greek Independence Day. The texts come in at 4 a.m. <laughs> it's true he doesn't sleep and he's a true, a true Kileli. That means that he loves what we stand for, he loves democracy, he loves like religious it. freedom, uh, so we appreciate that we get these texts. He really means it when he wants to raise the Greek flag. So we all know about 1821. I'll say a quick personal thing. Yeah. Uh, we're from the southern part of Greece, south of Sparta, and that is where Greek Independence Day is celebrated five days earlier. We have some people here from Man. So in our part of Greece, uh, it's March 17th, not the March 25th. Okay. Same Patrick's Day? Well, the same day. <laughs> <laughs> and it's an interesting thing. Every time I go back home with Stacy, and hopefully one day some of you will be there, it's a very rugged area, and we sit there enjoying wine spritzers and looking at the beautiful water. But then 200 meters behind me, every day I think about a family called Mavromihali in the small tower that declared independence there that day. Earlier, they were the first ones to do it. My aunt, our ancestors. It's difficult enough parking there in the summertime, let alone saying, I'm gonna get guns and go up against a, an empire. So I'm humbled every time I go home, and I'm humbled when a mayor, 202 years in the future, says that we raise the Greek flag, which is not about Greeks, it's about Hellenism, it is about protecting our democracy, our religious freedom, and making a statement of what this country and what the beautiful city of Patterns is about, too. So, thank you all for coming out, I really appreciate it. This is not as big as other events that we have, but neither was 300 people who followed King Leonidas to Thermopylae. Yes, yes. <laughs> so all of you, there's not 300 of you here, but thank all of you for, for coming and appreciating what we do. Well said, spoken like a true, true Hellenic scholar. Let's go from one Nick to another. Let's see, let's hear from Nicholas Real Estate, Nick Celepis, please. Nick. I just want to thank the mayor for taking the initiative and having this flag raising to recognize our independence and 202 years later. I just, I know he is really Greek in the heart yes. and he shows it all the time. So I just want to thank him. And maybe Father can say a few words? Yes, Father Christos Papas, right? Uh, yes, I'm yes. from Bergen County. We raised the flag in Fort Lee, in the Cliffs. Cliffs uh, I'd like to tell Nick to invite you to Peloponnesus 
It's a man who is from the Belgian Island, Elan Point. Okay. Happy birthday. Are you married? Yes, I am. And your wife? Yes. Like, like Nicholas. I went last year with my wife. You're going to like uh, Thank you for coming. Uh, God bless America, but also God bless Greece. And uh, we are people that we live. I live here in America for 30, uh, three years. And we love our country, but also we love Greece because we believe that uh, Greece uh, starts, we can say, everything. Uh, democracy, all the scientists, uh, historians, poetry, everything. That's why always we have Greece in our hearts. And thank you, Mayor. Uh, and you, you're very young. God bless you and very dynamic. God bless and God bless uh, Patterson. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Christopher. I'm going to take him on that. Take him up on that offer. My wife and I will be going to Baylor Sanders. And we'll he take. Has to give you a truth there. And we'll take you yes. to Mykonos next Friday. I went to. The, uh, <laughs> they're going to go. We're honored. Yes, we're honored to have a Richfield councilman with us, Thank Dimitri, you, Jimmy. Montagos. Montiolos. Montiolos. There you go. What he just said. It's all. <laughs> it's all Greek to me. Please. Yes, I can go to his island, Kios. Thank you, Mayor, and uh, thank you to the council and to the city of Patterson for hosting us for this flag raising. It's an honor and a privilege. Uh, on behalf of Mayor Hugo Jimenez and the Council of Richfield, New Jersey, uh, Bergen County Executive Jim Tedesco and the County Commissioners, where we had our flag raising last Thursday, the 23rd. Um, we we're happy to be here in Patterson. It's a humbling event. As they said, uh, my parents are from the island of Chios, Greece. Uh, Chios wasn't liberated until 1912. So the, the revolution, the revolution started in 1821, but it carried on 100 years. And um, we, we live right off the coast of Asia Minor. Um, our, our Turkish uh, neighbors are threatening that half the Aegean Sea belongs to them. So we're very worried about that because if everybody knows history, that is not the case. The, the islands are Greek, they're always going to be Greek. And off the coast of Asia Minor, there is uh, many Greek cities that were there that were uh, uh, genocide, ethnic cleansed with the Armenian genocide uh, 100 years ago. So um, we're worried about the threat. That's why we're here. We want to keep the, the message going. Um, same thing in the United States. It was over 200 years ago of the uh, um, bicentennial here, I mean the uh, revolution here that's led to the bicentennial, just like the bicentennial in Greece. And Thomas Jefferson was a big, when the ambassador of France was a big part of inspiring Adamantios Corais, who was also from Chios, to, you know, carry on with the revolution against the Ottoman Turks and said, if we can do it in the United States against England, you can do it against the Ottoman Turks. So, um, thank you very much again. On behalf of uh, all the Greek organizations, my brothers and and uh, Ahepa and the sisters and daughter of Penelope, the Hellenic American uh, Heritage Commission that I serve on at the governor's uh, pleasure, the Hellenic Federation of New Jersey, and uh, the Hellenic American National Council. Thank you very much again. God bless America and God bless the Hellenic Republic of Greece. Zito Yolanda. Zito. What he said. I also want to acknowledge, it's a shameless plug, an institution here in the city of Patterson. We have with us Steve Kantos from Kantos Food. Thank you. And it, Chief of Staff for Simon Benji Wimberly, Yvette Rowland, thank you for joining us. And Vaughn McCoy, who's an honorary Greek today. And Mason Morin, Alice Cruz, SOAMPBA. Now let's raise this flag. Thank you, guys. Από την κόψη του σπαθιού την προμερή Σε γνωρίζω από την όψη που με πια μετράει τη γη Απ' τα κόκκαλα βγαλμένη των Ελλήνων τα γερά Και σαν πρώτα ανδριωμένη γέρο γέρο ελευθεριά και σαν πρώτα ανδριωμένη χαίρο και ελευθεριά και σαν πρώτα ανδριωμένη χαίρο και ελευθεριά okay,
This is a condo. Yeah. Father, Lord Jesus Christ, bless us and bless the mayor, the councilmen, and this town. Amen. 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 Okay, good.